Magazine 23 ABC News at 6. I'm Amanda Gomez in for Jackie Parks. Drive around Kern County and you will see it. Trash on the roadside. But if you drove on Highway 58 through Bakersfield today, you might have also seen some men in orange fixing the problem. 23 ABC's Joe Henke joins us live next to the freeway with more on their efforts. Joe. Amanda and Troy, the trash has been piling up on the roadsides, all while county and city officials have been trying to find the funding to clean it all up. Today, there was one crew out here, and it looks like in the near future, there might be even more. The chain gang was out on Highway 58 today, picking and bagging up trash, a job which the Shafter Community Correctional Facilities used to handle. The CCFs used to clean up the highways. When the CCFs closed due to realignment, uh, the freeway stopped being clean. But, uh, since then, you haven't seen the inmates out cleaning. Uh, and the sheriff wanted to respond to the need that was obviously in the community, and he directed us to go ahead and put a crew out there. Currently, the sheriff's crew of inmates are cleaning up 58. Their efforts could expand to more highways through the county in the future. Several groups are working together to try and find funding to make Kern County's roads and ditches look cleaner. The sheriff's office is, uh, is working with Caltrans, uh, City of Bakersfield, and the uh, county supervisor's office to expand the program through uh, some of the current COG funds or some other resources that might be uh, made through private donations to possibly put out two or three more crews. The Kern Council of Governments, or Kern COG, said today they will discuss the litter problem at an April 18th meeting and possibly the April 17th Bakersfield City Council meeting. Plans are tentative now, but they might be able to direct funding to the sheriff's office or other groups to put more crews out on the roads. In the meantime, these inmates that have elected to be outside the prison walls will be making 58 look sharp and perhaps be coming to a highway near you in the future. The inmates that are, are participating in the program go through a screening process, uh, nonviolent, low risk to the community. Uh, we do an interview, and these are inmates who want to work, that would rather be out in the community giving back their part while they're doing time off their sentence. Now, all of this is in addition to a quarter million dollar Caltrans grant that was awarded to the Bakersfield Solid Waste Department. Some of that could support more uh, chain gangs like we saw out here on the roadside in the Bakersfield city limits. And a portion of that will also be going to the Bakersfield Homeless Shelter, which will be supplying its own crews to clean up some of the problem. Reporting from the side of Highway 58 in Bakersfield, Joe Henke, 23 ABC.